So one of the projects I'm currently very interested in is understanding how people's values vary from one community to another and how this affects the way they solve problems together and also how the, the differences in the way they argue from one community to another uh, varies and how this affects how they solve problems collaboratively together. So we're working on a project called Persuasion Across Cultures and what we're looking at is first to see if uh, for example, if in one community, fairness is a fundamental value that everybody thinks is extremely important, then in that community, if you're trying to convince somebody to join a project with you, you might say something like, well, if you join, um, that will increase our ability to uh, deliver some product fairly to the community. So uh, maybe it's a, a micro-lending platform. Maybe you want a community to join a micro-lending program and you say, well, if you all join the micro-lending program, we're going to be able to distribute resources more fairly in your community. So that's looking at how fundamental values and decision-making vary across cultures and we want to work with communities uh, in different parts of Morocco um, to see if that varies. We know that you can show, actually, mathematically, that decisions made by groups are far, or can be far, far more reliable if the groups are organized properly than decisions made by even the smartest individual in the group. So you can take this insight and apply it in all sorts of contexts, um, learning together. If you bring uh, a collaborative learning as a method to schools, you can improve, uh, significantly improve learning outcomes for those schools. It also improves the socialization or of the students, so their social skills, um, and their general morale. So there's a lot of studies showing that uh, bringing one of the fundamental insights of collective intelligence, which is collaborative learning, in collective learning, to educational institutions and to training groups, uh, significantly improves the outcomes for those groups. What we're looking at is the ways to optimally take advantage of those discoveries, um, figure out what the best ways of organizing people are, and then actually apply them to corporations, to schools, uh, to NGOs, to um, uh, problems facing us in our local communities, how to organize our local communities to best solve problems. So the significance can be very big.